Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks again for tuning back in. So Foresight has finally updated their FSX 2020 software to work with the Quad Max so we can resume our ball testing. Um, we have not picked up those golf balls from our last video. So we will be grabbing some Strixon X-Stars and some Callaway Chrome Tour Xs uh, this weekend. So that way we can run those and compare those to the 2024 TP5X. Uh, we also have the last ball test video that we did. I'll go ahead and put it up here somewhere. Um, if there's an, another ball that you want to see tested, uh, go ahead and put that in the comments below. We'll make sure we pick that up and do a final video on that. Uh, we are also coming up on a month of these golf balls that have been soaking in water. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to test these balls compared to balls that are just come right out of the golf sleeve to see if the weight's different, to see how they play, if the spin's different, if the distance is different, just to see if it's worth pulling that golf ball out of that lake or pond if you have no idea how long it's been sitting there. Um, we will also be doing our follow-up video now that we've had the max for a little bit. We had some issues. We tried dealing with foresight, so we'll be running through all of that stuff. Um, and then we also heard that the stack swing training system um, would not work with the max uh, swing trainer, the speed training that they have built into it. Um, you do not need to hit a ball with that. But again, we've heard that there has been some issues. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we do some testing on that as well. As soon as that comes, we'll do the unboxing and set up and, and walk through that. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button uh, below so you can keep up to date when these uh, videos are coming out. So again, back to today, we are going to be comparing the 2021 TP5X to the brand new 2024 TP5X. We are going to be using the picks for the 2024 just so that way we can keep them um, separated when we're hitting them. Um, the picks and the regular white ball, there is absolutely no difference. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we will be looking at, basically, we'll do some 50-yard shots. Uh, we'll do some eight irons, which is going to put you at about 165. And then we'll do some driver testing just to see, you know, if you tried the old TP5X when it initially came out and moved on, is it worth giving it a shot again with the new model? Or, you know, if you like the old TP5X, are you going to like the brand new TP5X? So, again, we'll do 10 shots with each ball. Um, if it's a bad shot, I'm going to go ahead and just delete it from the data. Um, after we have all the shots in there, we'll look at all 10 shots and kind of narrow it down from there. So that way we'll look at impact location to make sure that all the shots are getting equal data. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just start with the old one. All right, so now we're going to switch to the new TP5X, the 2024. All right, so I backed us all the way out to 160. We're gonna hit some full eight iron shots here. Uh, again, we're gonna start with the old. Let's see how we go. All right, now let's jump to the TP5X. Ooh. 
we got a switch boss. All right, so I started hitting those a little better, a little smoother. I'm going to go back and hit the old one a couple of times just because I wasn't warmed up when I started. So I want to make sure the swing speeds are at least similar. All right, let's jump to the driver. All right, we'll start with the old ball again. I think I'm gonna do three balls on the old, three on the new, three on the old, three on the new. So we get them all the way. So that way everything's pretty consistent. That's a bomb. All right, so now I'm going to jump to the new TP5X. All right, we're going to switch back to the old one here. All right, let's switch to the new. All right, let's switch back to the old. All right, let's switch to the new. All right, guys, that is all the shots. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll jump over to the data 
Uh, we'll run through it. I'll get rid of any of the bad shots inside of those 10, make sure that impact on the club face is pretty consistent, um, and make sure uh, club head speed is very consistent so that way we can actually look at um, comparable data. So I will see you guys in a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the data here. So right here, we've got that uh, 50 degree shot with the 56. Uh, it doesn't look like it picked up much of the club data from the stickers. Uh, we've got it on the eight iron and the driver. So I don't know, I'll have to check those stickers or see if it's just because of the, uh, the shot type. Um, but club head speed, uh, we've got a 50 miles an hour and 50.1, so that's almost identical. Uh, we were hitting a little bit down on the more on the old one, but I mean, those are identical as well. When we jump over to the ball data here, we can see that the old TP5 is definitely spinning more. So the new one, they definitely slowed down a little bit on those chip shots. Um... Everything else, the old one carried a little bit more. Also, the old one got a little higher. We'll see that in the driver, too. So it's the new TP5X is definitely lower launching. Um, same total distance here. Ball speed, the old one was a little hotter compared to the new one. Um, but not bad spin there. Let's jump over into the 8 iron here. So with the 8-iron, if we jump over to the club data, I've matched it just to get it as close as possible. So we're looking at similar data. Uh, it does look a little low on this picture, but I believe based off the data, if we jump over there, let's look at the, the new one. So let me jump to the table here. Uh, the 8-iron. We were only three millimeters low, five millimeters on the toe. So that's three millimeters low. And again, that could all have to do with how the stickers are on the face. If I put the stickers higher, this would move lower. If I move the stickers lower, this impact point would move up higher. So since it's the same club, we kind of just want to make sure that these are similar so that the impact location is the same. Um, again, looking at the club data, um, the club head speed was a little, I'm swinging the eight iron a little faster. Uh, not much, about two miles an hour. Um, let's look at the ball data here. Um, the ball speed was super similar. I mean, again, it's going to be a little bit higher because I was swinging it a little bit harder. Um, but for swinging the new one harder, the spin was lower again. So they've definitely lowered the spin on the new TP5X. The older one is definitely spinning more. So it's definitely an improvement. I'd say 6300 is a little low for what I want to see on the 8-iron. Um I want to see maybe 68 as a minimum. So I do like where it was before, but they definitely lowered it. So if you are a high spin player, you're definitely going to like the new TP5 axis. Uh, with that lower spin, it did carry a little bit farther. That could also have to do with swinging a little bit harder and a little higher ball speed. Uh, but you can see here with that lower spin, it definitely rolled out a lot more. So... If you are playing those TP5 axes, you do have to make uh, notice of that when you are attacking the green. Uh, the, the new ones are going to roll out a little bit more than the old ones. And then finally, let's go ahead and jump over into the driver here and the club data. So I've got these almost identical. Um, club head speed is identical. I was able to match that up exactly at 118.4. Um, <clears throat> dynamic lie, face angle. Uh, I was hitting up a little bit more on the, the red one is the old one. A little bit more on the old one, but I mean, that's 
half a degree, so it shouldn't be much. Um, jumping over to the ball data here. Again, the new TP5Xs are spinning lower. So if you do need to lower that spin, the new TP5Xs are going to benefit you. So I would say if you looked at the TP5Xs in the past and you didn't like them because it was too spinny, you may want to take another look at the new ones here. Um, let's look at the distance here. I mean, the carry distance was exactly the same. Uh, again, the lower spin here, you're going to get a little bit more rollout. Um, and this is kind of what I was talking about here. Looking at this old TP5X, it did get up there higher. Um, now, I was attacking it up a little bit more, but um, it did get quite a bit higher there. There is definitely some separation there. Uh, same carry distance, though. So, I would say if you hit the ball too high or you spin the ball too much, the new TP5Xs are going to fit you pretty well. As far as going farther, I mean, that's, it's almost identical here, 309 on the carry. You could say the new TP5Xs go farther, but this is all going to be based off, um, you know, weather. Is the grass wet? Is it dry? Is it hard? Is it soft? So I wouldn't really pay much attention to your total distance. Your carry is really where you want to be at. Um, again, looking at the club data here. So... If you have any questions or if there's another ball you want to see, go ahead and throw that in the comments. We do have another ball test video coming where we are going to be looking at the Shrixon X-Star and the Callaway Chrome Tour Xs. Um, we do also have the ball test coming up for the golf balls that we have soaking in the water. That will be coming up later this week. So um, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, you can hit that bell notification to make sure you get noti notified when we start releasing these new videos. Now that this software has been updated for the Quad Max, these videos are going to start coming out a lot faster. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day.